Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Drive America. They're the best choice for auto warranties, extended warranties since 1982. Believe it or not, go back that far. According to Consumer Reports, auto expenses can skyrocket when a warranty or free maintenance periods are over. This is the way to mitigate those challenges. Speaking of challenges, Brent. Well, I'll tell you, we were technologically challenged. That's why we're a couple <laughs> yeah. minutes late. Couldn't get the numbers up. But in 1982, that's when I started with Merrill Lynch. Let's go ahead and go to the tape here, as we call it. Oh, it used to be folks, they actually used a tape. You know, <laughs> yeah. Now it's all yeah. electronic. Boom! Bitcoin, 51,261. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. And look at that ratcheted up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test that. It wouldn't surprise me if it takes to the end of the week to actually get through it because that's a pretty quick move right there. There are some day traders that are going to take that profit, but got to love it up 4%. Overall markets up 2.93. We're at 2.22 trillion. So it's back to that room 222. Hey, can I go to the chart of Bitcoin again? I want to look at the volume. I caught that word. Yeah. Well, see, you, okay. got, you, got, mm -hmm. some, you got some yeah. pretty good volume. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, spread out here for me. You, know, you got some you got some pretty good volume on those big days all right yeah yeah uh, nice that big candle was on nice big volume and then you've had enough follow through but like i said i don't see it's going to go to the moon from here but you never know a dow's up isn't it funny bitcoin takes a run and all of this traditional markets go with it uh up 0.92 percent on the dow 1.05 percent s p 1.4 percent on the index but the Russell 2000 is only 0.49%. Mm. The gold's down 10 bucks. So Bitcoin up, gold down. They're starting to see a little translation there. It's amazing how many that uh, some of us are thinking that Bitcoin's becoming digital gold. And of course, silver is down half a percent as well. Uh, look at that crude, 79.066. All my oil syndicators are driving us crazy because they're, you know, they're looking for $100 oil. No, that's not going to happen. But if you look at a chart of that, yeah, we've had a pretty good move. Mm. Right. There you go. Now you go on back a little bit further, and and you oh, and you can see that you get into that price as well. But you got to go all the way back to eighteen to get to that kind of price. Futures up two thousand on the near term, nineteen ninety on the far term, and we're up two thousand. So all that's in in line. Hundred and eighteen up for Ethereum. Cardano's up three cents. Links up forty nine cents. Forty seven cents for Polkadot. XRP's up three cents. Litecoin six eighty one. XLM's up half a penny. Theta is up seventy cents. That's eleven point seven one. Theta's doing big. You know, isn't that interesting? Hex is taking a little bit of a breather today. It's down one point three five percent. And Cardano's down two point four four percent. And Dogecoin is up four point five six. It's at a quarter. Uh, and I did buy it at 60 cents. And I'm not buying it at a quarter because I still got cute dogs at home that I'll have to pay for. <laughs> there, you go. Them. there you go. So uh, listen to this, folks. And, you know, we talk about adoption. People do it and talk out of both sides of the mouth. We talked yesterday about Jamie Dimon saying, you know, there's no intrinsic value, but we're going to go ahead and carry this stuff. Don't get in it, but we're creating it. Which, uh, you know. He's an expert on that. Two oh, he is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Hey, you know, most weathermen, you always find 50% of them are right. <laughs> He's yeah. a weatherman on both sides. You know, he's a, anyway. So listen to this. The fifth largest bank in the nation, U.S. Bank, is expected to announce that its Bitcoin custody services are available to fund managers, okay? And it's like, well, why would they do that if they don't believe in it and it's all going? They want to get their hands on the money, folks. <laughs> so the service will custody Bitcoin private keys for fund managers through a partnership with N NYDIG, uh, Vice Chair of the Bank's Wealth Management and uh, Investment Services, our clients are getting very serious about the potential of cryptocurrency as a diversified asset class. You know, Brent, it, uh, you, you can teach an old dog true, new tricks, but it's only taken four and a half years to listen to it, you know? <laughs> yeah, had they you gotten can teach them to it, but it takes a long time. Yeah. Well, you know, had they gotten in when we first started telling them, hey, guys, y'all look at this and get well, in but, it? <laughs> but what's interesting is they're in it for the fees. Oh, yeah. You know, they're, oh, yeah. Not, they're not in it for the cause. Yeah. Really. They're not getting it to the small people, the little people. Fund managers, bring us that big money, and we'll we'll fee you to hang on to your keys. That's it. There you go. There you go. I don't believe there's a single asset manager that isn't thinking about cryptocurrencies right now is what he said, which I thought was pretty interesting. Custodial product is currently only available for institutional managers with private funds in the U.S. or Cayman Islands. And, folks, what, they're tell what, what that is all telling you, we have a lot of funds hoping to invest in ETFs, and the U.S. hasn't approved any of those. 
and they're dragging their feet to the detriment of U.S. investors, oh, which yeah. is unfortunate. Um, uh, U.S. Bank has $8.6 trillion in assets under management, dipping their toes in this water. They should have dipped them in years ago. They're finally getting on the train. It's a little bit late. Listen to this. IMF Managing Director, 110 countries are at some stage of CBDC development. Digital currencies, folks, we've been telling you it is the trend. <laughs> Anybody that says that it isn't is either ignorant, which means it doesn't mean they're stupid. There's a difference between ignorant and stupid, um, it, or they're lying to you. <laughs> and so, you yeah, know, for our Reddix buddy, that CBDC is Central Bank Digital Currency. That's, yes. It's just that we do the anachronism because we sound smarter than <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Listen to this. Currently, the Bahamas is the only nation with a state-backed digital currency, the sand dollar, which the Central Bank of Bahamas launched in October 2020. So a year ago, they launched it. I remember we talked about it oh, on yeah. the show. Oh, yeah. They're ahead of the curve, folks. Yeah. You can still be ahead of the curve if you yeah. get in now. It's like, did you, you make a call to your mother lately? I mean, you know, Jamaica's going to do it soon, too. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Folks, we'll see you again tomorrow on the Wild West Crypto Show.